Hello, it's Paul here. I'm uh, living on a boat called Tafelberg, and um, I've just got one hold of one of these boys. This is a Monster X, Monster Pro, I think it's called, uh, by all powers, and um, it's going to be basically running the 240 volts and hopefully the whole thing on my boat eventually. Although I am on a shoreline, I'm very concerned about electric prices, so this box will uh, charge off for solar panels, and I just want to do some initial... Um, unboxing at the moment it's sitting in uh it's not sitting where it will end up um it's just charging for the first time um so yeah so um a few things about it so the first thing is um obviously with a boat we use shuko soft sockets which look like this i'll dangle it in front of you this thing okay so we have a female one of those that gives us power and then we plug this male one into it um and then what happens is it goes from it, it normally goes from the shoreline into the boat so basically what would happen with this one is that it would go from the shoreline into one of these boys da, 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 da. so it goes from the shoreline into that then that goes into the charger at the back now the reason for that is that this is a has got some big lithium battery in it and what then happens is as well is in the front down the bottom just under this in this little port here that's where I put my solar panels, which I've got. You need to get the solar panels from the company. Um, they say that if you don't use their solar panels, and it breaks, it won't. They, you know, they won't be cut. Out. So I've got two hundred watts of those. Um, they do charge even in the UK in the shade because um, unfortunately the cable's not very long. So that's another consideration: is you need to think about getting longer cables, uh, especially on a boat if it's on the roof because it's it's going to be way too short. So that's an issue. Um, the biggest issue with this is this socket here. That is chucking out 240 volts at 30 amps, um, which is um, very good. So, uh, but the problem is it's an American RV um, plug socket and you can buy these and they cost about 50 pounds for the, for the socket, but don't get the long one because if you get the long one, okay, it covers up there. So you can't plug the solar panels in because if the, uh, the mains is plugged into it so that's a real bad design um, and actually this should really for the uk okay um x powers people i'm going to send you this video that should be a shuko a female shuko socket not this weird american rv thing because these they are quite difficult to get and you need to get the small one not the longer one okay so there's like a mini a mini plug to it now the other problem with that is they're rated at 110 volts although they are rated at 30 amps and um um obviously uh so this is actually a 240 volt socket i know because i've measured it with a meter and with an electric meter um so uh it's really important that uh i think the the company need to change that for a female shuko the other thing is the the manual is rubbish it just doesn't tell me what's going on so i think it's charging i think that's why it's flashing um it, it's got you've got to charge it to 100 percent before you can use it so uh, that's what I'm doing. So that's my initial lookout. I can't tell you how well it performs. Um, the solar panels were doing really well till it got a bit dark um, this evening. So I'm charging it off the mains. And then once it's completely charged, I'm going to go ahead and um, pop it on the solars and get it in position. And I'm getting the new a new plug to go in there because the, the one I got was the long one, which is too long. You can't get that. And the solar panels in and that's a bit of a job. So for the company... If the company's watching this, okay, I'm not being sponsored by the company, so I'm not going to tell you it's brilliant or it's bad. There's good points and bad points. It's really solid. It's really nicely designed. I love the controls. It's got a Bluetooth app that is a bit doesn't really tell you much more than the display. You need more about what this is. I don't know what's going on here. There's nothing in the manual that tells me why it's flashing. I don't know whether that's good or bad. Okay, I really don't. Um, so the manual needs redoing to actually tell you what's going on with the display. I think that's flashing because it's charging. It might be flashing because it's about to explode. I don't know. Because the manual's about four pages long. Um, and it needs a female Shuko socket there, not that socket. That's the wrong socket for the UK. And uh, But otherwise, the solar panels seem to work really well. And I'm looking forward to getting my boat hitched up to this. And then permanent, it'll be permanently hitched up to it. And then with a main supply when I'm on the um, on the shoreline, um, but I'm told by the company that if the solars are running in, it can't. It'll kind of work it all out, and so it will supply the solar to, solar to it um, when I need it. 
So I'm just going on what I've learned from the internet, what I've been told, and what I'm learning as I'm going along. I'll probably do some more videos as, as time goes on. Hey, it's okay. Thanks very much. Bye.